Hi guys, this is Jeff at The Glorious Uncertainty and as promised, I'm just going to go through the race tomorrow and uh, one of the races because I, I think there could be another couple of bets as well tomorrow. Um, so yeah, six furlong, <coughs> Wolverhampton. Now here, on this side here, we've got class against distance. Uh, so that's, so if you take astrophysics, has run five times in the class and play um, at the distance and placed four times. Okay. Next, uh, Glorious Charmer has run 10 times and placed five times uh, in class at distance. And so it goes on all the way down. Um, these are not in any, these are just in, in race order. So, and then we get to Seas of Alzam. Run once, placed once, hundred percent. Now on the next one, on the next side there, you've got uh, going against the distance. So racing on the going at the distance. Again, astrophysics has done that three times and placed three times. Again, uh, eight times glorious charmer placed three times and so on and so on. Then. What I do is I add the times they have um, this, both the going and the distance and class and the distance. I add them together to get a percentage. So three plus four um, is uh, seven. So times that by 100, then divide it by five, six, seven, eight to get 88 percent. And so all the way down here. These are the horses based on class and distance and going and distance and their percentages, okay? So once I've done that, I will then put them into a stats order. So this is the stats order running down here. So C's of Alzam, um, although only attempted this uh, twice, uh, C's of Alzam goes to the top, with uh, it's got 100%. Astrophysics, Castoy Boy, Admirable Lad, Bomb Squad, and so it goes on down to Alatrino's Gift. Uh, Coast, I support um, Mustard Bahi. Okay. Then what I'll do is next to these, I'll put the trainer running to form, and these are all the form going down there. So that's the trainer's form. And um, I think it was Tony was saying about the chances as Alatrino's Gift. Well, the trainer is running at 75% horses running to form. But the horse's last race um, at Southall, I'll show you that in a, in a minute, Tony. But the horse's last race, he, they were going for over six furlongs at Lingfield and did nothing, died a death. Really did die a death. I don't know what the thing, how they're going to play this tomorrow, if that big gamble is going to come off. But we shall see. We shall see. Now, before we go... Just if we look up here, these are the stats for uh, Wolverhampton over six furlongs. Leading horses win at 11% of the races. Prominent, 10%. Mid-division, 7.5%. Um, and held up, 7.5%. That's the total of all the horses that attempt to lead. 11% of them go on to win. And so on it goes down. The draw um, is beneficial to be low to mid uh, in the draw. It's beneficial. It's not... It's not the absolute, it's just beneficial. So if we take this now and we'll just go back down here. The one thing we've not discussed here on this is the weight situation. Um, how much the horses are carrying uh, via the handicap and what they can handle, what they can't handle. Astrophysics is just has never done anything with that, with that amount of weight before. If it did tomorrow, it'd be absolutely astronomical. It'd be unbelievable. Um, Cast Toy Boy is, is fair in a way, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to be able to get home at six furlongs. It's been doing, uh, I can't remember exactly how many how many times, but always seems to get a place. Only won once, I think, at six under, under the class conditions. Um, but no, Admirable Lad, uh, very, very good. Um, Bomb Squad again, the weights, Glorious Charmer again. If that wins on that weight, it would be it would be exceptional. 
um, and so it goes on. Uh, Alicino's gift as well is not is not brilliant in the weights, but when I show you the race last time, I, unless I just go tear arsing off and and try to try to just take the race by the scruff of the neck and, and win it, but that's what they did the last time, and it just did you feel miserably. And the one they've got to watch is this one, Seas of Al Zam, which is now I know is coming into to favoritism now, so the market has agreed with us on that. It's an unknown quantity, Seas of Al Zam, and that's why I like it so much. An unknown quantity and um has shown very very good speed at, at greater distances setting up a lot of races um and setting up a lot of race times as well and competing in those race times but at the death it's been too much for it or a, a mile i think it was um i think it was sandy paradise's race as well i think it was so i can't remember exactly um so yeah seas of alzam and when you look at admirable uh, lad these two represent the best value when you consider everything considered and the weight especially with astrophysics and the leading contenders are glorious glorious charm i know they're not leading contenders now i think the bookmakers were expecting you to most punters to just dive on because they've they've won quite a few races but when you check the weights they're just there's too much weight for them too much weight in my opinion they may prove us wrong but anyway so that is the reason why, and this is uh, this is how I set it up and how I go through the bets. So you've seen that as well. Um, that's obviously that's the bet. Not what's the bet, but um, what I do. So just uh, go on. This just one second. My editing skills are terrible. So this is Alacino's gift answering. Uh, Tony's question um, it's been out it says here a four year old has been out of sorts the last six runs and needs to turn things around well if we look on the 11th of February this was the closing st these were the closing stages now Tries to come through out wide, Canzoni, There's Master Alicina's Sully, bit. and then big time maybe an in arm is looking for a way through the pack, but maybe Drums has kicked off the front here racing. and has gone four or five lengths We're clear. Here comes now. big time maybe in arm now beginning to He's gather the leader death. back on the outside with big time maybe, but Navy Drums is going to hold so, on. Navy Drums from the front in arm coming too late down. So, in my opinion, I think we're on the right horses. Alicino's gift, yeah, if, if somebody knows something, but it's not proved that on the, um, it's not proved that on the track. It's not, it's just not done it. It's not done it. So, um, yeah, I think what they'll do is try to set the, the race by the scuff of the neck. But I think Seas of Alzam has a lot in, it, in his favour, a heck of a lot in his favour. And, yeah, it came up the top of the stats in stats order. Came at the top. On but... the outside, a big time, maybe. No gift in the maroon sleeves. So Cedric tries to come through out wide. Canzoni. That's still playing. Um, so, yeah, Seas of Alzam, unknown quantity, has set up a lot of fast times at greater distances. Um, has proved itself on the stats. Um, yeah, it's, it's limited stats. I mean, it's only once, but it's got 100% on both 100% of the distance at uh, class has got 100% going at distance yes but it's been it has been wrong distance for the past two times so the market seems to agree with us um and so i've got no problems with those two i think admirable lad is 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 fair i think you it will probably go bigger than that but i think it will give a fair account of itself um anyway that's why we're going for that and um i hope that's explained everything um right the competition um i can't turn the phone around because it's just gonna uh, mess up the video um the we're going for in fact what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make another video about that that'll be easier than you can see me right okay that's it for now i'll speak to you soon cheers bye for now